What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to the series on JavaScript. In the last video, we learned about JavaScript arrays and to make working with arrays easier, JavaScript has numerous array methods readily available for us to use. In this video, we will learn about various array methods that are used to perform different operations on arrays. So let's get started. The push and unshift methods are used to add elements to an array. Let's see an example. Suppose I have an array on my screen, so I'll say const fruits equals, let me give apple, orange, and mango. Now, if I want to add another element to the array, I can use the push method like this. So I can just say fruits dot push, and let me add pineapple, and now let me verify that the array element has been added by console logging fruits. When I press run, you can see that pineapple was added to the end of the fruits array. But what if you wanted to add the element at the beginning of the array? I can use the unshift method for this. Let me show you how. So let me remove this code and instead I'll say fruits dot unshift and instead of pineapple, let me add kiwi, which is one of my favorite fruits. And to verify, I'll console log fruits and press run. And you can see that instead of in the end, this time kiwi was added at the beginning of the array. Similarly, if we want to remove an element from the array, we can use the pop and shift methods. Let's see an example. I have the array from our previous example. Now this time I'll say fruits dot pop and let me see what happened to the fruits array after running pop. Oops. I'll press run and you can see that mango has disappeared from the fruits array. The last element is gone because I have popped it. If instead you wanted to remove the first element, we can use the shift method instead of pop. So I'll just remove pop and say fruits.shift. Now when I press run, instead of mango being removed, this time it was the apple that was cut from the fruits array and we only have orange and mango remaining. By the way, it's fantastic that you're learning JavaScript. If you ever want to broaden your knowledge and explore other programming languages, be sure to check out our ever-growing list of mobile apps for Java, Python, and C. They provide well-structured courses and certifications which will definitely improve your resume and skills. All these courses are free, so download now. I'll put the link in the video description below. We use the concat method to join two or more arrays. Let's see an example. I'll remove this old code and I'll say const array1 equals hello world and let me put another array, array2 equals javascript and programming. Now I can use the concat method to join these two arrays. So I'll say const result equals array1 dot concat array2 and let me console log the result to see what happened. When I press run, you can see that the result variable now contains an array containing all the elements of array1 followed by all the elements of array2. That means the two arrays were concatenated into one array by the concat method. The sort method is used to sort elements of an array alphabetically in ascending order. Let's see an example. Suppose I have an array of fruits like this. So I'll remove this old code and say fruits equals apple, mango, papaya, and my favorite kiwi. Now I can use the sort method to sort elements of the array. So just say fruits.sort and as usual, we want to see what fruits has. When I press run, you can see that papaya is now at the end because it starts from P. Kiwi has moved from the last place to the second place. Basically, this array or the elements in this array are now in alphabetical order. The slice method allows us to create a new array from an existing array. Let me give you an example. I'll start with an array. So I can say const ir 
equals hello world javascript and programming four elements now let me create a new array containing the first three items of this array for that i just need to say const new air equals air dot slice now i want to start from the first element so i will write zero which is the index of the first element i want so i want to start from hello which is the zeroth element since array indexing in javascript starts from zero and then comma and then the end index but not inclusive so i want elements up to the third index the fourth element the third index because i want the first three elements so i say three however this second value is not included so programming which is the third element third index element is not included i should get the first three elements with this this is confusing at first but you'll get used to it eventually so i'll say console log new arr and when i press run i got the first three elements again let me revise i start with the first index and go up to the third index but not including the third index that's why i start from hello and go up to the third index but i don't include it so i start from hello and go till javascript and that's why i got the three elements instead if i wanted just javascript and programming then first of all get the first parameter right so i want to start from javascript which is the second index so two and i want to go till programming or the element after that so zero one two three four i want four here and when i press run this time i got javascript and programming it might confuse you because the fourth index element doesn't even exist but we have to remember that the slice does not take the last element of this second parameter now there's a little trick to the slice method we can also use a single index instead of the start and end index if you use the single index the slicing starts from the index and goes till the end of the array that means since in this case when i wanted javascript and programming i actually wanted to go to the end of the array i don't need to provide the second parameter if i press run then the slicing will start from javascript and go until the end which includes only programming in this case okay guys we need your support to keep this kind of content free for all users youtube really likes engagement on the video so leave a comment below press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses we can use the splice method to change the elements of an array let me give you an example so let me remove this code i have an array with four elements hello world javascript and programming now i want to remove the first two elements and add another element instead of it so i want to remove hello and world and let me say arr dot splice so how splice works is first of all i want to start removing hello so that means the zeroth index so i put zero here that means the splicing or the removing of the elements will start from zero now i want to remove hello and world which is two elements so the second parameter will be two and instead of these two elements i want to put language let me say so i want to put the string language so that is what i'll do splice in fact comes from botany uh, so you must have heard of splicing of plants and that's how it works we remove something and put something in its place so i'll say console log arr and now when i press run you can see that hello and world have been removed because i am starting from the zeroth index removing two elements and language has been added in its place because i have put the third parameter of splice as language which is what do i want to put instead of this we can use the includes method to check if an array contains a specified element let me give you an example suppose i have the array just like before and now let's use the includes method to check if this array contains javascript so i'll say const result equals arr dot includes and the string javascript now if i console log the result 
You must have guessed the output by now, but I'll still show you. Let me press run. And you can see as expected, I got true because indeed JavaScript is present in this array. Now let me change the value to something else. Let's say Python, which is obviously not in this array. And obviously I'll get false this time. We can use the find method to get the array element that satisfies the provided condition. Let's see an example. I'll start with a numbers array. So const numbers equals 2, 4, 7, 9, and 12. Now I want to get the element that is greater than 5 from this array. For that, I can use the find method like this. So I can say const result equals numbers.find. Now here's the tricky part. We will need to provide a function with the parameter as the element. So I'll say element, element greater than 5. This is an array method which we have learned in the previous video. If you don't understand what this is, then let me rename this as function element return element greater than 5. This is essentially the same thing. So basically put in a function that contains a representation of each element of this array and inside I will put in a true or false value or a true or false boolean expression. If you're confused with this, don't worry, we will explore this further in the further videos. Now let me console log the result and press run. And you can see that I got seven, which is the first element in this array, which satisfies this condition. Now, apart from the ones mentioned in this video, the JavaScript array provides many more methods to perform different operations on arrays. If you want to learn about all of them, you can visit our website www.programmers.com. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now to practice what we've learned, here's a programming task for you. Create an array with values I love JavaScript. Add the new value programming at the end of this array. Check if the array contains the text JavaScript using an if condition. And if it does, print the text. You're doing great. Keep learning. You'll find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. Also, if you want to revise this concept, you can find all these programs there. I'll put the link to that in the video description below as well. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for the programming quiz. What is the output of this program? You can see the options on your screen. Comment the answer below and happy programming. I'll see you in the next one.